Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, I'm Akanksha. So, you read the title already. In today's video, we are going to do a really easy, simple, I would not call it glam, but a simple glam only. You know what else will you call it? It's a glam, but it's like no makeup, makeup look. Uh, and with just five products, I actually recently did this uh, look because I just wanted like, you know, a quick something, but nothing like too extra. And I really like how it turned out. I asked it on Instagram if you want to see it. And so here we are. So let's dive into it. It hardly takes five minutes and just five products. So let's get started. Please ignore my voice today. Um, last night was a little rough and my voice is a little gone. So, anyways. So before we get started, I just want to put something out there that most of the products I'm going to use are the, on the, the luxury end. But these are the ones I used like initially when I started, not when I started, for the first time I did this look. So I'm going to use the same things now. But you can honestly use any products just similar to this and it'll do the same exact thing. It's just about the technique and something with similar to the product works. So first up, I am going in with foundation. And for foundation, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Skin Foundation. I think this is the first time. I put my hand like this and it focused see now again it's not focusing anyways and I am in NC40 everybody always asks me my MAC shade and it is NC40 I don't know why I kind of like sidelined this foundation I used it before and I used to like it but then I just put it aside and I recently started using it and I'm like why did I ever stop using it it's the OG and it's the best foundation out there I love it it works for all skin types and it gives a beautiful finish. I'm just going to take that foundation and dot it on the area where I have a lot of pigmentation. I'm going in with the Rufa Beauty RB23 brush. Now I'm just going to slowly pat it on the area where I have acne scarring. Now you can totally uh, skip this if you have no uh, pigmentation or like no acne scars or etc you but I want to cover this like when I want like no makeup makeup look my main goal is to like you know kind of hide the pigmentation or the acne scars I have because rest I like honestly don't really care much about this just gives like an instant refreshing look so everybody has like a different like definition for that no makeup makeup a lot of people like using concealer but for me i think like if i'm going for no makeup makeup concealer like does not play a role it's all foundation because it just like it's so blended into the skin i feel concealers are a little more thicker than foundation so foundations just give a more natural finish and if you just don't apply it under the eye and you do everything else it's just going to give you that no makeup makeup look no matter what you do to your face or else you can just like you know take your brush and just go with the same thing under your eye and it'll just you know kind of blur away your dark circle this depends again from skin to skin on times when my acne scarring is a lot i probably might not be able to do this i have to use a little bit more product to cover everything but this kind of just blurs everything out Next up is blush. Blush is our favorite trend. Cream blush especially when it comes to a no makeup makeup look. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics blush. I absolutely love this one. I really wish I can get more shades. And this is in the shade Empress. Like when I open it, it looks so like hot pink. And it's like terrifying that oh my god it might look like you know a barbie doll there uh, but honestly when once you apply it it's so beautiful even i was like whoa when i first saw it but once blended into the skin it is beautiful so i just apply like that a little bit on the nose as well wherever you want according to your choice lips eyes do whatever you want blending it out again do it on the high points of your face so that with like little bit of stuff you can like you're also adding color to your face but you're also like contouring your face in a way see like that color is there but you want to also see the lift of the blush so really nice see that color blended out into the skin like looks beautiful i'm going to go in back with my foundation brush and kind of blend everything together 
Next step is highlighter and this can change the game. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Lacme Absolute Liquid Highlighter. This is the shade Rose Gold. So absolutely like, you know, kind of matches that uh, pink which we have going on. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand like that much is too much. I'm going in with this blush. Just going to add it on the high points with my finger. You can use a sponge also you want or you can use your fingers. Either thing works, works really well. See how nice that glow is. It just blends beautifully into the skin and gives that like healthy uh, glow. I've been re I'm really enjoying this highlighter. I recently tried it on camera only and since then I'm like using it almost like every time I want like that nice glow. See like my face already looks very like put together right. It's the it's not like too heavy but it's not like nothing as well i think this is a look a lot of people are comfortable wearing no matter where they go powder is a must for me because i have oily skin and i like to look a little matte uh, so if this is a choice so for powder i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury flawless finish powder and this is the shade too i'm not going to use it all over the face only like in the area where I'm going to get oily that which is just like right here I don't want the glow of the highlighter to go away so I'm just going to add it right in the this area where my pores you know are a little big so it kind of makes it minimal as well but it also makes me mad so like the, when you see in the side the glow is there but when you see front like it is nice and matte four products down one last to go can you guess can you guess what that can be? Of course, mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Now, of course, you can do your brows at this point if you want to. For mascara, I'm going in with one of my new favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Finally, I'm going in with the same blush and I'm just going to add it on the lips and just going to blend it off. You can use another lipstick if you want, but I feel like this just like coordinates with my blush also and it looks really nice. If you want at this point, you can go ahead and use the same cream highlighter and add that inner corner highlight or like, you know, anything you wish. I did not do this last time. I'm just like doing something extra to show you guys but you can honestly stop at this you don't really have to do that in a corner thing it's just like again removes the element of like i think uh, the no makeup makeup look <laughs> So on camera in front of all these lights this look might look a little minimal or something is like you know too dull etc but honestly in real life it looks so so stunning it's so minimal so like to the naked eye like in person it look flawless you will not have like oh you know this is not it, it is that really good like no makeup makeup look with that healthy glow uh, to the skin and it looks wonderful I, I did this makeup the other day and my mom was like your skin looks really nice today and I'm like she never said that before you can of course like add more things or remove anything according to your preference your skin type your skin tone uh, but you know this is what I did for my makeup so yeah this is it this is how the look is I hope it is useful for you guys I hope you guys like the video let me know what you thought about it okay so this video shout out goes to Amrita P thank you Amrita for always loving and supporting you absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of the next video shout out all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, do comment like share subscribe to my channel and I shall see you in the next video bye